And welcome to another edition of Football Friday Night. I'm Marvin James. And I'm Frank Malloy. Connor Hines, uh, Cecily Stapp joining us a little bit later. Matter of fact, Connor's on the road, so mm -hmm. we'll check in with him. It is week three of the playoffs, and who better to start us off than Mr. James? Don't mind if I do. The Warner Robins Demons entering tonight's quarterfinals with a perfect 26-0 record over the past seven seasons through the first four rounds. Tonight, they invite Creekside to town, a team they have two of those wins over the past two seasons. And it was Black Friday at the back, <laughs> so why not bring out the black jersey? Creekside's opening drive goes the length of the field. Seminoles connect for a touchdown. Vincent Berry to Dylan Vickerson, and that takes a 6-0 lead after the mixed extra point that was blocked by Cam Flowers. And a fast start for the visitors looking to get their lick back after two straight losses to the Demons. Warner Demons on defense and Big Red makes a play. Senior Rashawn Dinkins high points the ball for an interception and the Demons are going that way. And Dinkins highly recruited showing wide right there with the athleticism as a DB. Robbins with the football now. Judd Anderson, the three-star QB, known for his strong arm. Now he flashes his wheels, picks up a first down, and then some. That's good for a 41-yard pickup, and the end zone is near. Three plays later, Mama, there goes that man again, Rashawn Dinkins. Again in there. Yeah, yeah, touchdown, Demons, 7-6 to six after the Alberto Medina PAT. But the lead wouldn't last long, because back comes Creekside out of Fairburn. On fourth and short at midfield, it's a throw under duress and finishes as a touchdown. Barry to Jamari Hayes, and Creekside retakes the lead 13 to 7, and they go on to lead 20 to 7 at the break, and the Demons would be in trouble, trouble. Third quarter, Knowles get the ball to start the half, and they drive for nearly seven minutes to score another touchdown, this time from Roderick McRae, and it's 28 7 Demons trailing midway through the third quarter. But the Demons try to answer on the next series. The big time combination of Judd Anderson to Isaiah Canyon, and that's good for a big game, but the Demons would turn the ball over on downs. These two would make some great plays over their career at Warner Robins, and the Demons in need of some points. Judd Anderson agrees. He tosses to Makai Isaac, and that touchdown cuts the lead in half, but that's as close as it would get. Creekside wins a 35-14. The Demons won't reach the title game for the first time in seven seasons. Let's take a look at the FFN scoreboard some more. Creekside will go on to play Jefferson in one half of the 5A semifinals. Cartersville and Coffee will match up in the other half of the bracket after they both pitch shutouts in the Elite Eight. All right, well done. Thank you, Marv. A rematch.